Hey, ladies and gents, uh, welcome to uh, Technique of the Week. And uh, this technique, guys, I, I wanted to record for a little bit. I don't know why I was postponing. Uh, first time I saw this one, and I only saw it once, and it blew my mind. Uh, it was a judo technique, it was a judo tournament, rather, and it was a Georgian athlete performing it. And I think he was doing it against a French judoka. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, Uke uh, Tori was a, a Georgian guy, 100%. And uh, guys, it just blew my mind because what he did, he turned uh, 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 Torres or Soto into his own uh, Uranage. It was crazy. Seemingly, it looked like there was no coming back, but that guy, he managed. All right, so let's look at it for a second. So often, when uh, when you do a regular soup, right, like let's say against Koshi Guruma, against Headlock right here, you see David is on my left side, I'm gonna pop, right? It was not nice enough. Uh, but it's all left shoulder. The bit of a trick uh, to do soup against Osoto is because I have to rotate my partner all the way to that side because he's on this side. Okay? So wait guys, uh, let's talk, to talk about theory. David goes also the guy. I mean, if he caught me in the flush, I'm gonna go down. But sometimes, often it becomes Ken Ken, also the guy, or like a little hooking and dragging, also, yes. So the first thing I'll do, I'll step back. All right guys, so number one, that's my uh, defense mechanism. Because if I don't stay here, I have no, oh, yeah. Uh, David will have more options to finish me, or more chances rather, not options. So if I step, I will stop him for a second, that's number one. And number two, I have a power source, because that's my soup, soup leg, right? That's the leg I'm gonna be driving on. And I'm gonna have to rotate David on this side. And I have no luxury of switching grips. Whichever grips I had, that's the grip I have, all right guys? So total commitment, and remember guys, during any soup leg, during any arch throw, even if you're not super flexible and athletic, all you gotta do is catch the teacher behind you. If you pop your hips, or worse yet, don't pop, and you look at your feet, all that's gonna happen, you're gonna get squashed, it's gonna blanket you, all right? So you wanna step in, pop your hips, commit, and look in the back. And it will look like this. All right, guys, make sure you pop your hips, because theoretically, what might happen, then it will take you down, and with good momentum, maybe you will be more, maybe not. And if it's like a, a, a Sambo Judo predicament, he will score. If I hold him over, maybe my uh, uh, reward will be possible, okay, or whatever, but in Jiu-Jitsu, there's gonna be no score. So you really have to commit, you have to pop your hips. So in other words, uh, you wanna make sure that uh, former Tori becomes a Nuki. In other words, he lands before I land. It's not like I fall on my back and hold him over, but rather pop my hips, and standing through the air with him landing first. And full force, go. All right, guys, just like that. And if you become confident doing stuff like that, and you have a preconceived notion of somebody doing a soto, you can bait them and do exactly that. All right, guys, see you next time.